No, it's definitely that the a the neighbor is an alien. A hundred percent, the neighbor is an alien, and this is proof that the neighbor is an alien. A hundred percent, he's an alien. Hello, everybody, and welcome back again to Hello Neighbor. So today we're gonna be heading outside of the map because there's some really interesting stuff going on outside of the map. Now we've taken a look at some of this before, a very small amount of this before, um, but we don't know what any of it means yet. So we're gonna continue our search outside the map and see what is sort of going on. So if we head over this direction, we're heading to the lake first to start with, because I know that there's some really interesting stuff over there that you guys are definitely gonna wanna see. Um, and then we're gonna continue on after that. Maybe, actually, let's swing by the school first. We're gonna swing by the school first and say hello to our school buddies. Okay, let's go do that. What is that? Why is there a bench? Is there just a random bench? Why are they putting this stuff here? It's messing with me. You don't put random stuff out in the middle of nowhere just to mess with me, man. You're killing me. You're killing me. Man, I need to know. I need to know. All right, we're going to go have a visit of our school, though, real fast and see if there's anything changed about it. It obviously looks much cleaner than it was before. All right. Weyron Krubs Yalusk. Okay. So that is our school, and before it over here, it says luck you still. So I don't know why it says that. I don't know if that's some sort of inside joke or anything like that, but it says that. And there's no teleportation cube over here anymore. Wait, doesn't that mean, what's in the front, what's in that room up there then? Have I not looked over there? Okay, now we have to go back and check this out because before there was a teleportation cube in this room and there might be a key to one of the things we're looking at. Okay, let's go check this out first. All right, so there are two things that we're gonna check out first. Obviously, our mannequin is still here. He's still trapped in this room, but it used to be that there was a place we could teleport out of this room in here, right over here. And now there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. This is a bunch of boxes. What do you want to do with all these boxes? Why are they... Why? Why? Okay, so now that we've seen that, let's go check out this other teleportation room, which is down in the train station. Uh, just below here. We've seen this already. We know all about that. The cake's in there. But right here, you can see they just sort of patched it in. So maybe there's a way to get in here still. And then if you come in here... Okay. What happens... Bye. Oh, that's still there. Why is that still there? Okay, so obviously that brings us right smack in front of the M13 house. Which probably just means they know that we were cheating and came and looked at it. There's probably not actually a way to get to that in the actual game. And it... It, in all reality, probably means nothing. But I'm still very curious because it's weird. And why are there gravestones, like, well underneath the ground here? What's going on? This is too weird, man. It's too weird. Okay. Well, now that we checked that out, we know what that does. I don't know what it means. If you guys have any theories as to what that means, let me know. But now, like I said, let's go check out the lake. Let's get out of here and go look at the lake. Just just have a nice day relaxing on the lake. It's going to be wonderful. All right, here it is, our beautiful lake. And it might be sort of as you guys remember. You guys might sort of remember this. There's a big old sailboat right in the middle of the lake. Why is that there? No idea. Doesn't matter. Let's go see what's going on with this stuff over here because we got actual items going on over here. Why is there a broken? Why is the broken gramophone over here? JT Is that a youtuber Easter egg and what can I do with this? This is an actual item. Can I play this? That'd be so cool Well, I guess that's there. I mean, it's obviously a youtuber Easter egg for JT who uh, wrote several hello neighbor songs I believe um, But I don't know if we can do anything with it. It's kind of cool that it's there though It's kind of neat that they added in some more can I walk on this? I can walk on this. But the really important thing that I want to have a look at after I check out the boat is that over there. You can see it's sort of smoking. And this one is big. I really like this one. Is 
Is there anything in our boat this time? Nothing in our boat. Our boat's just there. Nothing seemingly down here other than the shadow of our boat, which kind of freaked me out because I was on it. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything actually down here, though, because it's kind of foggy. Maybe they did that to hide something in the lake. Oh, what are they hiding in the dark lake? That makes me curious. Maybe we'll check that out in a little bit. But first, let's go look over here. Because we already know, or I already know what this is. And this is super interesting. Um, so this over here is a crashed satellite. But it's got a really interesting addition to it. Which I don't know why they put this here. I mean, it's really neat. But I don't know why they would bother to put it here. So if we look here, okay. We have our big old satellite. Which came falling down from, from our, you know space space and on the satellite we have this golden disk with all these different markings on it now for those of you who do know about this you might recognize this as a golden disk which in real life or a golden record it actually is in real life we sent up to space to communicate with aliens if they ever found our satellite so this is a real thing it's an it's an actual replica of the real thing which is really neat but why is it here? And my theory as to why this is sort of here, um, I think maybe, I mean, it could be, if I, I might be, I might sound crazy, but it could be that the neighbor is an alien. That could be it. But I think it's a lot more likely uh, that... No, it's definitely that the the neighbor is an alien. A hundred percent, the neighbor is an alien, and this is proof that the neighbor is an alien. A hundred percent, he's an alien. That's it. That's right. It's right there. No, maybe not. Probably not. Okay. More likely, I'd say it's probably proof, or it's probably supposed to be a timestamp as to sort of when the game was placed. So this is sort of our flashback in Dream World, uh, as we've so you know discovered already. And I think that this sort of just places a time on when our dream is. Okay, and the Voyager 1 launched in 1977. So, hmm, that's kind of, that makes us kind of old, doesn't it? I don't know if that quite matches. Maybe it does. Maybe I'm crazy. And that would maybe explain why the neighbor is not around anymore. Maybe he's just gone. Maybe he just died eventually. Um, or maybe there's also another possibility that we're all aliens on an alien planet and this just crashed here. Um, that's also... It, it could be. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what to think of that. Let me know what you guys think of that, though, because uh, it's kind of crazy. If you guys don't know what that uh, the Voyager spacecraft is, though, you should definitely check it out and learn some more about space because space is awesome and all that. And I'm sure I've said wrong things about everything that I'm talking about right now, but it's okay because space. All right, so now we're going to go check out our police station real fast. Uh, see if there's anything changed there, or may maybe there's still a poster there. Uh, I need to know. I need to know. Look at that car. That is not an old car. It's a pretty buggy old car. Well, that one looks even more weird. All right, whatever. Leave the cars be. Don't judge them for how they look. They're nice cars. <laughs> okay, so this is our police station, which used to be just a giant block until they added it in. And there it is. There is our simming poster. Okay, let's have a look at this, because I was actually talking about this before. There's no way that that one's us. That's got to be the boy. And that's the girl. Which we helped escape. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, we're just going to leave that behind, because I don't want to see it. It, it, just, it just makes me question more about what the actual story is. And currently, while recording, I don't know. Maybe I figured it out by now, by the time I upload this. Fingers crossed that we're to that point. Because I'm going crazy, man. Okay, now we're going to try and go find the hospital. I'm not sure where it's at. Is it over there? I don't know. These hills look different from the last time. Oh, why is it, why is it way over there? Okay, well, we're going to go check out the hospital next. Because uh, it's just next up on the list. And there's actually houses leading all the way to it. And this goes way off in the distance. Hmm... Why would they do that? That's pretty far out over there. Okay, here it is, our Sogtival. Beautiful, beautiful. 
I don't really see anything special about it though. I'm looking for little hints because there's they put in little hints in the cutscenes and stuff. So I wonder if they put in little hints outside of the map uh, to sort of give us a clue as to what things are meaning. But I don't see anything. I don't see much of anything at all. Okay, so the last place which we will be checking out is our favorite crow buddy over here, seeing if he has any new friends. He's got his mask there. Uh, our shark is in this box, which is kind of interesting, because normally it's not in that box, but I don't know, it's sort of there. Um, but I don't see anything else special about here, so we're just going to check out this, hopefully not getting hit by cars. <laughs> um, but just check out this gas station real fast. And it looks like there's nothing here either. All right, well... I guess uh, I guess that's pretty much all of the map explored for the most part. So now there are other maps for us to explore now. So we gotta go check those out in the next episode. But I think we're gonna go ahead and leave this one here and let me know what you guys think of all this crazy stuff that we have found in this episode. My current theory, as of recording this, is that the neighbor's wife died because he got into co into a car wreck. Uh, that's what the hospital thing is. That's what the other cutscene is that you guys haven't seen yet. But we'll do a video explaining all of this later on after I'm more confident <laughs> in my theories. But I think that the neighbor's wife died. He got very protective of his two kids. Uh, there's the boy and the girl, which he locked up in the basement. But why would there only be one room in the basement? Or maybe there's... Hmm... Okay, I'm not going to overthink it right now because I'm going to drive myself insane, but I think that he locked them both up, and we, when we were younger, we helped them escape, and now that we're moving back here, we're just sort of remembering what's going on, and that's why there are the missing posters is because we helped them escape uh, their captivity from the evil neighbor, which was actually, he's just trying to be nice and protect them, but he did that by locking them in a basement. So, maybe not so nice, but he, he, he tried right he tried so there's that um <laughs> anyways that's it for today everybody hope you guys have enjoyed